today I'm going to begin my review, test and review of ARB's tyre pressure monitoring system. They offer two types, an external and internal. This is external. The internal, it's a sensor, you fit it inside the casing before actually putting the new tyre on. And they're nice because you don't have to remove them every time you deflate or pump up the tyre, and they are protected because they're inside the tyre casing. But I'm trying one of these because I've had quite a bit of experience with tyre monitoring systems, and I found in the early days when they, this was about 2008, so 10 years ago, didn't have a lot of success. Tried with two different type, system types and had multiple failures. Then I tried with the internal types and actually found them very satisfactory. However, being 10 years ago, technology may have improved a lot. Let's firstly discuss why a um, tyre monitoring system is even worth putting in a vehicle. The concept of being able to monitor the tyre pressure is one thing, but more importantly, a warning goes off when tyre pressures become either too high or too low. Too low for me is more significant, because what happens is that if you get a puncture, for example, imagine driving at high speed and a nail goes through the tyre air starts to come out. If you only, as a driver, only notices it seconds before the tyre is completely flat, the time it takes to slow the vehicle down while the tyre is completely flat is very often, more often than not, enough to destroy the tyre completely. So if an alarm goes off and says you're losing pressure, you can immediately just back off, check, careful, you've got time, pull over, and see what's going on and in most cases not run the tire at all at zero pressure so the tire isn't damaged you just have the tire repaired off-road critical because tires are such an important part of our kit we go into these incredibly remote areas sometimes we carry two spares because of the eventuality that maybe just maybe we'll destroy a tire the idea of a system like this for exactly the same reason means that I can detect when I've got a tire a tire that is losing pressure stop before any damage is done. The second thing is temperature. If a tire loses air and begins to flex too much it will get hot. Extreme heat damages a tire. So ideally these monitoring systems should also warn of excessive temperatures. Right we take the dust cover and put it on let me take on the nut, just go on the nut with our hands as far as it'll go. But we don't tighten it yet. Then the sensor, each sensor is marked, that is the front right. We turn that on, we turn it firmly, we then take the nut and rotate it against the sensor we take a spanner and we hold the sensor with the tool and we give it a tighten we then replace the dust cover and that's done we just do that with all four of them uh, the last time i tested products like this it was uh, in well 10 years ago it's called tire dog it's pretty simple little remote monitor and four sensor transmitters that we fit onto each wheel. And they didn't do very well. They failed a lot actually, and after a while I actually just stopped using them and went for internal sensors, and they lasted much better. Um, I like the ARB system because it took me a total of, I suppose, 10 minutes in to, to do the full installation. The fact that the sensor unit is in the uh, is a cigar lighter type thing power supply means you don't have to run any extra wires it's it's actually extremely convenient which pleases me okay um, I've been playing for uh, 10 minutes and I've got absolutely nowhere um, so anyway uh, try again all right plug it in it's giving me a low pressure warning or a warning of some kind on the front right um, why are you doing that I don't know why you're doing that um, uh, unit pressure selection so it says 
press threshold value selecting and I'm not sure what threshold means okay so it says threshold okay and it's giving me threshold of 35 which is default what does threshold mean I'm not clear because it says pressure unit selection different scenarios threshold what does threshold mean so that so threshold means it gives a signal when it drops below that pressure I'm assuming that would mean I has to mean that what else can it mean so that it's on tw 24 okay I need to change this from PSI to bar pressure unit test hold for 10 seconds one two no it's coming up with a warning so and now it's dead okay just do it please Press the set button and adjust the threshold value. Over and under inflation warnings are fixed at the selected value, 8 psi or 0.5 bar. That is far too low. Almost pointless. When you are at half a bar, when you are at that low pressure and you're still doing 50 kilometers an hour, your tire is wrecked. What's the point? If front and rear tires are run at different pressures, the threshold value should be set at the average between the two. So you cannot change back and front. Okay, fine, that's not too bad. Note, threshold value, 1.2 to 4.5 bar. So what does that mean? Wh what does that mean? Threshold value is 1.2... Threshold value 1.2 to 4.5 bar, or 18 to 66 psi. What does that mean? I don't know what that means. And the trouble is with these instructions, they're, they're done by somebody who knows the product. You need to get them done by somebody who has never used this product before, so they can actually say, well, you've missed out three steps here. What does that mean? Okay, I've got to do a functional test. I'll drive, maybe I'll drive somewhere. Hold the set button for 10 seconds and display once the... Okay, if you can figure out that, then you're a better man than I am. Yesterday, it's, it worked for about uh, an hour and a half, and then I had to, when I got back, I had then had to pump up all my tires because all, they were all at fairly low pressure for the off-road bit. I pumped them up, and they haven't, it hasn't worked since. I can't get it to reset, and if I leave it running like that, it beeps, gives me a warning signal every half an hour. While it was actually working, it did give me a warning. Left back tire, low pressure. I looked. It was flashing. It wasn't flashing a low pressure. You see it's going again. It wasn't flashing a low uh, pressure, it was just flashing the correct pressure, but it was flashing and it was giving me a beep warning. So um, my second attempt has failed. I'm gonna give it one more chance and then I'm gonna give my conclusion. At the moment, it's not looking good. Okay, so now I'm removing the uh ARB tire pressure sensor monitors because I have given up on them completely. They don't work. And so uh, I've finished trying. I'm fed up trying with them. Fed up trying. They worked for about half an hour. Then I got a low pressure warning on this tire. And the low pressure warning, there was no low pressure. So, uh, worse than useless. I think you'll agree with me that that really wasn't a particularly fair test. I have to assume that there was a faulty unit. It's so bad that it, well, it has to be faulty. That can't be its best performance. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to try and take it back to my local ARB store, which is close to where I live. Of course, the other side of Australia. And I don't know if they'll take it back. I'm not going to take the camera in with me to put pressure on them, but I'm going to see if I can uh, have it swapped out for another one. If they say no, that's the end of my review. If they say yes, welcome to part two. Well, welcome to part two. <laughs> they just said no worries and just gave me another one. So I'm going to try it again. If it works, I'll probably keep it and use it. Although I still don't think it's particularly good. Uh, but let's see how it goes. So we're going to fit them right here and right now. Plug in the little sensor plug in the reader just like I did before 
no mucking about and see how it goes. Right, let me see. So I, I assume that it is going to take a little bit of time to actually uh, engage itself. So I'm going to drive for a while and then pull over. Guess what that noise is? Okay, um, I, I don't know what to do. It's, it's supposed to be working. Um, okay, let's find a place. So it's PSI, and I know if I hold that in for 10 seconds, it will then allow me to go to Oh, okay, that one worked. All right, that one worked, so this is better. Okay, so now what? Okay, so now now what? Do I turn, do I, do I, do I, do I unplug it? If I press it again, it goes to bar, it's bar now. Okay, I'm happy. Okay, I'll unplug it then. It's back to PSI. Right, I've gone around the block. Let's see what's happening. Well, it has changed to bar, but it's flashing those two bottom items, which I don't know why, um, because they are, uh, it's, these are 2.5, 2.3, 2.8 and 3 bar. That's looking r probably pretty close to what they actually are. So I'm now going, I will now want to tell it, okay, okay, I'm happy with the, I'm happy with that. Whereas before it was giving me a warning on my two back ones, it's now giving me a warning on my front right. I hate this product. I, I I think, I mean, I'm trying to remember, I've been doing, I've been doing four by four products for a long, long time. Do I hate, have I ever hated a product as bad as this? You know, if it had just been a little fiddly, I would have just been annoyed. If it had been an inexpensive, Chinese products, some of their products are pretty, they're just bad copies of otherwise good products. It's not. I would give this a score of one out of 10, uh, but because it is uh, marketed by ARB and has an ARB badge in it, I'm going to, for the very first time in my life, give it a score of zero. There you go. Just like the other one, it's telling me my right front has a low pressure. It hasn't got a low pressure. And I'm going to check it. It's saying it's, saying it's 2.3 bar and it's warning, even though 2.3 is way above the threshold set. It, it, I give up. I've had enough. My conclusion. It has no high temperature warning system. It is inaccurate. One cannot select different pressures for the front and back wheels. The setting procedure is overly complex. The unit has no reset button, which means once the alarm is sounded, what do you do? When it did work, it produced spurious warnings. Being an external unit, it increases deflation and inflation times. And it's as simple as just selecting the front right sensor and Ta-da, simple as that. How come ARB, who let's face it, make some pretty great products, they do, I've got a lot of them on this truck, can actually accept and consider this to be product worthy of their badge. That is the part of this product that I really don't understand.